In this video, we're going to work with the VLOOKUP function to collect data from multiple areas. Now, in this context, our boss or colleague, etc., our audience, stakeholders, have asked us to review a list of customers, and we have six of them here, who have bought a particular product. And they want us to know if those customers were in our target market. So this is a target market report to say, hey, which ones of these are actually the people that we were targeting for the product sales? Because sometimes customers buy things even if they don't get an advertisement, right? Even if they don't get a discount or a promotion, they just buy the product. So we kind of want to start tracking that a little bit. So we need to create a column called target market. And we're going to be putting a one or a zero here or yes or no because one means yes, zero means no. However, we don't have any information on them, but we do know that we targeted based on the state. So in the United States, based on the state. So we don't have that here, but we go to the customer data file and we actually have the state over here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to bring over the state that they belong to. So we'll put in a new variable called state. Then we're going to VLOOK up this. Now, this is a very simple data set. I know that many businesses have customers that have the same name. But in this context, we're going with a simple, unique data set. We're going to do a VLOOK up here. Now, remember the VLOOK up. What do you want me to look at in both sheets? In other words, what is similar or you think is going to be the same in both sheets? Well, I think the word Abby is going to be in both sheets. Okay. Now it's saying, hey, where do you want me to look for this? Well, we want to look in customer data, but specifically we want to look and see if we can find that A2. So that thing that we found in A2, which is Abby, we want to make sure that that's in the leftmost column. And then we want to you know, look for something over in the second column or the state column. So I don't know if you can see that on your screen there. Um, I can't move any closer, but there is a times 2C there. It means you are grabbing two columns. So that's how you know that it's the two that you're going to want in the next section. So we let go of that. We're going to say, hey, where do you want me to look? I want you to look in A and B. And now what do you want me to do once I find it? Okay, so once I find Abby in that other sheet, well, I want you to return this information in the second column that corresponds to Abby. And then range lookup, we're going to put a zero there. And I'm going to tell you flat out, never before in my life of doing this for over 20 years in an international company where I've worked overseas in many continents with thousands of people, have I ever used anything other than zero? Okay. So plug a zero there, which means you want an exact. You don't want to find AB or Abraham or Abigail. You want specifically Abby. So that's why we put a zero there. Like we don't want any possible combination or similarity with that. We want an exact match. That's what zero means. You'll get an exact match. So hit OK. And now we can drag this down. And now we have that information. Now, the next column, we want to target market. We already have it over here, but now because of our target market database or our sheet, we can match up the state with the target market. So now we'll run a VLOOKUP. Again, the VLOOKUP function is wonderful. We're going to this time look for the state. Okay, so the VLOOKUP function, this time we're going to look for state. We're going to go to that table array of target market this time. And same thing here, just so happens that we have two columns again. We're going to hit the two, and we're going to put a zero. And we'll double click, drag that down. And now we have the yes or no for our target market. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of that most business classes don't teach you is I want you to paste special value this stuff because if we were to delete this column here, I guarantee you we'd have errors. We'd have these things called errors. We'd have these things here, reference errors all over the place. So if you were to export this sheet, 
you know, move the sheet into a, a new workbook, you would lose all of these references over here. So what I want to do is copy paste special value of this. So copy, so by dragging over what you want to do and hitting control C or going up to copy, right click, paste special values. And now those formulas are gone. Same thing over here. This is only when you know you're done with your analysis, okay? Because if you're still working on this and need to clean something up, don't do this. But if you're about to release this report to your audience, this is what you want to do. So here we go. Target market, got the ones here, bought the product. Now what I might do is I might do some conditional formatting here. If, um, you know, if we have, you know, like ones and zeros, so red means zero. So we have a situation here where they did not buy the product, but they were targeted. We have a situation where they bought the product, they did not buy the product and they were not targeted. And we have a situation here where they bought the product, but they were not targeted. So we have a mix here, but generally speaking, the people that bought the product were also targeted. So um, that's good analysis there. So what we might wanna do is we might wanna do a total down here. And we had four purchases and four targets. However, we do want to do something called, um, we, want to, we want to make sure that we have some good information in here for comparing whether our campaign worked. Because as you know, we got a four here and a four here, but we know that somebody that bought the product that was not targeted. Okay. And over here, Somebody did not buy the product, but was targeted. So you might say, wow, we have a 100% match. Great job, the promotion worked well. Well, not actually, okay? So this is where you could do forecast error calculations. So we could do a true, false, positive, negative calculation or anything of the like.